Hey everyone, so it's um, week three of month two, so almost at the end of two months. I haven't really been taking many videos just because my skin really has not changed at all since I put up my dose. So as you can see, still very red and inflamed, a few more like pussy pimples. It's not as sore as what it was, it is still pretty sore though. Um, yeah, not pleasant at all. It's very crusty, like very flaky, sort of in some areas. My lips, oh my god, have gotten so bad. Like, you can see these little cuts at the corners. Like, it's just from dryness. Like, I haven't, it looks like I've been sucking on like super dupers and got like the cuts on the side but no it's, it's just it's just the lips you know um I'm getting yeah basically just a few more like pussy sort of pimples but I can see a difference in my skin um I've noticed that like all sort of like all in the nose under the eyes a little bit around here as well um my skin isn't as like congested as it used to be so like I used to get, like, I just have a few, but, like, you can't really tell because it kind of just looks like there's holes. Trust me, a lot of these aren't actual blackheads. They're just, like, the holes left over from them. So, like, I did a pore strip a few weeks ago, um, and usually I have to do, I used to have to do them at least once or twice a week just to get, keep on top of those blackheads, but... I haven't done one for three weeks and the blackheads haven't come back up in the areas that I got them out of when I did that pause strip a few weeks ago so I'm pretty stoked about that because um, that was always a major problem for me was blackheads it was a real sort of concern of mine um, even in here like not as congested as what it used to be um, all in here, I'm noticing nowhere near as many blackheads as what I used to have. Still some there, um, but yeah, no, nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Um, yeah, no, it's just super dry. Um, but I can tell that all over, like, in the skin where there's no pimples, it's, like, my skin is looking brighter, it is looking, like, it used to look very dull. My skin is a lot brighter now. Um, I can, yeah, I can tell that it's definitely working. Like something's definitely happening. But oh, it's just so painful. Like I've stopped wearing proper foundation. Um, at the moment, I'm just wearing. I'll just put like my face sunscreen on. Then I'll pop my primer. Then I'll do um, just some concealer over the pimples and then just pop some powder over the top and that's all I'm doing at the moment and it's actually covering up pretty well um, I think because the skin where the pimples aren't like had the quality has just improved so much um, like I don't really have to cover any dullness or anything it's more just concealing that redness sort of thing um, <laughs> I go to Bali in two weeks so I'm not really looking forward to having this like crap skin while I'm there but you know what We'll just have to deal. Um, I mean, at least I know I'm doing something about it, so. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Rakutain is not fun. Um, people just kind of assume it's an overnight thing and like, you know, oh, you just, you're gonna, your skin's just gonna keep getting better. Like, as soon as, they assume that as soon as you go on it, your skin starts getting better, but <laughs> not at all. Like, I don't think I've ever had my skin's ever been this bad ever like maybe close but no never this bad especially down in all these areas there's just so much like i just actually can't believe how bad it is and like a couple like usually my skin doesn't bother me at all like you know the way i see it, it's like oh well at the end of the day i can i can cover it and i don't care if people still look at it you know what i mean but there have been a couple days in the last few weeks where I have felt super, like, I felt ugly. Like, I just, 
just yet, no. It's been really hard. Um, just because it's never been this bad. And like, <laughs> again, people like come up to me, like customers come up to me at work and go, oh, what, what? I had a lady come up to me and say, what happened to your face? <sighs> Some people, hey, yes. So that didn't feel very great. Um, in my head, I was kind of just like laughing. I was kind of just like, girl, you know what happened. It's just acne, like chill, but yeah, no. So the fact that so many people are like noticing it now, like it's just not fun. But the way I see it, I just gotta keep reminding myself that it's not too much longer to go. Um, I mean, like, by month six, I'm meant to have no new pimples, and the last two months has already gone so quickly. So, um, so yeah, I can only hope that the rest of the time is gonna go really quickly, too. But yeah, so that's the end of, um, so this is week three of month two. Done. So this is um, week five. No, 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 no. I can't, I'm like losing track. It's basically like a week, no, like two weeks before, two weeks off, two months. Okay, now that we got that out of the air. Um, two weeks off, two months. And I upped my dose again about a week ago. Um, honestly, I'm not really, like, my skin's actually improving since I doubled my dose. So, I haven't really, I haven't, like, this is still the breakout from, like, three weeks ago. Um, you can see there's a lot of, like, pussy pimples now. It's all really coming out. Got some here which I never ever get. That one on my lip line still, this one's gone down. My lips are still dry, nowhere near as dry as they were. The cracks are like going away. This side's not fun. Getting some like up here as well. And on the forehead. But yeah, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I think the overall quality of my skin is definitely changing a lot. Um, yeah, it's gone pretty good. Um, my skin's not really that dry, it's more just in like the actual parts where the pimples are. Like when I'm wearing foundation, it'll get like like that little round, that dry patch around it sort of thing. Um, so that's been happening. Um, Really not much else to report at this stage. So this is, um, I'm, off, I'm about two weeks off two months now. Um, my skin is not good today. It's like really crusty, pussy, like this little cluster of pimples here, not looking nice. And this little cluster, it's like multiple pimples, like in the one sort of thing. It's really weird. It's like all scabbing up still. Just basically real crusty pussy and it's not nice. I can tell that it's just like the healing process of my skin just trying to heal itself. But it's not good. Um... Today has probably been the driest I've been probably since like the first breakout I had, so that's a bit crazy. Um, I'm going to Bali in two days and so I'm kind of just praying that this <laughs> stops. Um, yeah, it's not fun to deal with. Um, like a pimple will pop in the middle of the night and like I wake up and there's like blood spots on my pillowcase from my face because like the pimple has popped throughout the night and the blood's just like gone on. It's really disgusting. Um, it's not fun. Um, basically when I wash my face, this happens. I get like 
little bit of pus coming out of all the pimples. The pimple like sort of breaks. But yeah, this is really not fun. I can really tell it is sort of going through this like last breakout now. I mean, I'm hoping I'm not going to get any more. We'll see what happens. I haven't actually taken my tablet yet today, but you can tell that my lips are still considerably dry, but I've been using a lip, lip balm a lot more today than I was yet, like the other day, so. So yeah, it's um okay for now. Um, yeah, basically just hoping that the dryness goes down. I'm just gonna keep using my ultra hydrating products and see how it goes. So I'm eight day, no, 10 days off two months on Rakitane. And as you can tell, <laughs> look how funny this looks. My lips are so freaking dry. They're so cracked. This is actually the worst they've been in a couple weeks. So I think high, heightening the dose has kicked in now. But yeah, like when I smile, my lips look really tiny, so <laughs> it just looks so funny. Um, so yeah, still not wearing any lipstick, obviously, because I can't. Um, my skin was slowly sort of getting better. It is kind of starting to break out a little bit again, though. Um, has taken a bit longer for this dose to kick in. Um, you can just tell that it's kind of getting a bit scabby. They're more like scabs and the skin is very dry around those areas as well. It's kind of got sun down here. This side is actually a little bit better than the other side. A bit more scabby and dry over this way but not as many breakouts. On the forehead it's okay. My nose is still pretty clear. Um, but yeah, so it's basically it for today. Hey everyone, so it's two months since I started Roaccutane today. Um, bit of a update, so at the moment my skin is like really scabby. Um, I don't really have too many actual pimples as such, it's really just sort of these ones here. There's a little cluster here, um, one on my forehead. There's not actually many pimples as such. They're more like, just like a scabs. Um, like I do still have pimples coming up. I usually will wake up with like another one or two in the morning, but then one or two will have gone down. So it's um, like my skin's sort of just fluctuating at the moment. Um, but yeah, with the scabbing, it's, like I can tell that it's going through that healing process now, um, like because you know scabbing obviously is your skin's way of healing itself, um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I have sort of had some dull under eyes the last few days. I don't think that's because of the medication though. I've been traveling. I was in Bali for a week and I just got back yesterday, and I'm very tired still. So I've got another two days off work, so pretty happy about that. That I get to just sort of chill. Um, and hopefully get this video up tonight if I can um, but yeah so it's been really good um, so yeah there's really not too many significant changes really it's sort of just been like I can just see that it's slightly improving um, it's I think it's really just gonna be just a really slow lengthy process so I'll keep you guys posted um, but I am really happy that I can do, I can see positive changes in my skin and everything. Um, I will be posting a video of my skincare routine. Um, so I'll be just showing you guys all the products that I use, um, the process that I use with those products, um, and just giving some tips as well on um, like some things that will help other people um, while they're on Rakuten. So things that have um, that I've found to be really helpful. So like products um, and like other things. So that'll be really good. I'll have that up soon. And I'm also going to be uploading an acne coverage video too. 
Um, so I've had a lot of people ask me how I cover my acne, what foundation I use and everything. So um, I'll definitely be uploading that. Um, I'll probably upload like an everyday one and then I'll also upload like a going out sort of one, like a full glam. Um, but yeah, so I'll um, definitely have those uploaded very soon, so keep an eye on that. Make sure that you um, press the little bell button um, so that you can get notifications when I upload, um, so that way you won't have to keep checking it. Um, but yeah, and I've had lots of really supportive comments from you all um, on over 600 views on both the previous videos now, so that's pretty awesome. Um, it's... Um, as I said in my previous video, it just makes me feel so happy that I can help people and that um, people are really interested to see this. So, um, just really grateful for all the support. It's making it a bit easier. Um, you know, I have days where I wake up and I go, I don't care that I have acne, I can do anything, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Whereas, there's some days you wake up and you're just like, I need this to be over. <laughs> So, like, I mean, we all have days, so it's, um, I think it definitely makes me feel a bit better when I see that so many people are being so supportive and everything, and, um, and all the people that are around me as well in my personal life are being really supportive about it, so, yeah, it's good. <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, funny story with my acne, um, while I was in Bali, I was at a safari, went to the safari park. Anyway, my boyfriend and I were getting photos with an orangutan. And when we sat down, the, the orangutan, he like grabbed my face to like pull it towards him and I like looked at him and he got his finger, it's so disgusting and it's so embarrassing too. There was people like watching us because they were waiting for photos and the, this orangutan just starts picking my scabs off my face and eating it. Oh, it was so disgusting. And it was so embarrassing too, like I was just so humiliated and my boyfriend's just full on laughing and like they had to, they had to keep on um, like taking his hand off my face so that they could try and get the photo and so like even in the photo I'm like, my face, I'm like, like at this because I'm like trying to get it to not touch my face but yeah afterwards I, um, and like all the other people were laughing too and it was just like, I could be a good sport about it. Like, I could see the funny side of it, but it was still so embarrassing. And yeah, I like, it was probably so bad for my skin, but I had a bottle of hand sanitizer with me. So I just got some hand sanitizer and I just like rubbed it all over my face to like get those germs off. But oh, it was so, it was like funny, but so humiliating at the same time. And so if you go to a zoo, um, and you're gonna be with animals, um, maybe put some makeup on, or just be, just expect something like that to happen with like an orangutan or something, because my god, it was just, it was one of the most humiliating things I've ever had to go through, and and then like the, per the people who were taking the photos, like, because she said to me, she's like, Oh, I'm sorry, it's some um, because of, you know, and I was like, mm, I know, <laughs> so, I know, girls, but yeah, so that was really funny, but be prepared for something like that to happen if you go on a reputate and you go around animals, <laughs> but yeah, so um, that was really good, um, so glad to be home now, I think my skin was sort of playing up a bit while I was overseas, but it's like going okay now, I'm really hot because I'm in my bathroom, it's so freaking hot in here, the sun's like coming right in, it's like the hottest area of the house, but, so I'll get out of here now, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching my videos guys, it really means a lot, and you know, this is why I made, I decided to document this so that I could help all of you as well, so really means a lot, thank you so much, make sure you just subscribe, um, make sure you turn on notifications to get emails um, and notifications on your phone when I post a video um, and make sure that you follow me on my social media as well. I do have Instagram, so my Instagram is Renee Weaver MUA. I will link it down below. Um, I don't actually have like a Facebook page for like my YouTube. I do have like my makeup Facebook page, so I'll link that down below if you're interested in that. But yeah, so 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next update.